Godwin Austin Johnson is one of the most well-recognised names in architecture and design operating today. It has contributed to some of the most impressive projects in the region. This year the company is celebrating 30 years in the Middle East. And to celebrate the milestone achievement, Commercial Interior Design sat down with three of the future stars from Gadge. They're working from the Architecture, Interior Design and MEP divisions and they have been singled out for success. Here they share their stories working with the company and spoke about how they believe their roles will evolve to address future challenges in the global economy. The thing I enjoy most is the scale of the projects that we work on, the opportunities that younger people can have in the Middle East, and that is the scale. I get to work on projects that are just vast, where you wouldn't have that opportunity in other areas of the world. Um, I mean, our recent project is a high-rise hospitality and residential building, and that is the kind of thing that is of a scale that a lot of people can't really comprehend in other areas of the world just because they don't have the opportunity to work on that kind of thing. So I, I enjoy coming in every morning to just look at the sheer intensity of what we're doing. And it's the, it's the uh, I can't say reward, but driving down the road and seeing a, a building that you've worked on, I like the aspect of looking at it going, I worked on that. Part of my effort with the company is something that has caused that to be where it is today. I've always been very interested in sustainability and especially self-sustainability in terms of solar power and making sure that something can run on its own, which I believe is the future of the industry in terms of using purely renewable sources of energy because we have a lot of pollution and a lot of uh, scarce and materials that are coming up. Being new to the industry, um, I believe that what, what I'm trying to do is try and see how it would tie in in the current situation in terms of the business side of things, in terms of practicality, and try to see how technology can actually assist in uh, producing something that could actually achieve a form of sustainability and a form of self-sustainability. The amazing part is they actually have given me so much exposure. Um, it was, it's in such a, a short span of time, which I really appreciate. And I believe that the industry in Dubai is growing. You have so much construction happening and you definitely need someone to design it. And as a young designer, I feel like it's not just keeping up with the trends, it's just a different sort of thought process because we study with not just pen and paper, but with like computer and so it kind of creates a sort of combination of designers that that can code and that can actually like model and actually can create these sort of images not just with pen and paper but have that same mindset as a designer but also use computer aided design to actually create something that could possibly be unique in terms of for example it would be like soft forms that you couldn't actually calculate with your hand and a pen but if you actually put that in a computer, you can actually have exact calculations and exact measurements that actually constructed, which would make the whole process a lot easier and faster. There are a lot of opportunities and the market is growing. There are a lot of upcoming projects in the field of, you know, hospitality, healthcare, and uh, there are a lot of towers being built. And as you know, the Expo 2020, and not just in Dubai, but as well in the Middle East and Africa. You see many projects coming up and uh, there are a lot of very good opportunities. And as a young architect that's coming from several parts of the world, you have the responsibility to design a sustainable building. Whatever has been built, it has an impact on us now. And whatever is going to be built now has an impact on the future. Mm -hmm.